this video we're going to have a look at attaching the machine heads to our neck. Uh, in this one we're going to look at a, a inline machine heads and we'll do another video where we have three aside like you'd find on a Gibson or something like that. So this is like the Fender model with the uh, three uh, with the six in line. So let's uh, come in close and we'll have a look at that. For this video we're actually using the neck from a TL1. You may recall that we cut this out into our Pitbull shape. We put on a Pitbull Guitars logo and we've done a lacquer coating over the bare wood, front and back, and down the back of the neck. Uh, we can't go far on our guitar if we can't tune it, so we need to put some tuning heads or machine heads on there. And here they are here, they're in the back, there's obviously six of them, it's a six string guitar. And basically, they go through the back of the guitar, like so. And basically they're vertical like that. So if you put them in just to have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so obviously we don't want to set them up like that because it looks awful and it's going to be very hard to tune. So they need to all be vertical, vertical off the edge of the guitar, off the edge of the headstock. Now, in your little bag of tricks, you'll see down the very bottom of the bag, this is on a TL1, you've got your um, machine head section. So I'll just tear that off and I'll show you what's in there. I'll move those machine heads out of the way. We'll tip that out. With these sleeves, you can see here, the washer goes over the top, and that goes through the headstock like so. And then when you put the machine head through the back, it lines up with that sleeve, and the sleeve actually screws into the machine head. I'll just do that lightly. Don't know if you can see that. So there's the machine head sitting there. It's not fastened yet, but it, the machine head's actually screwed into that sleeve there. So you can get that fairly tight and get the uh, machine head roughly vertical. So there you go. We'll do that with those six. Right. So once we've got the machine heads roughly in place. To make sure they're going to be in line, what we want to do is take the E string machine head and make sure that is vertical, that is vertical off the headstock. So we can check that with a steel rule. And just use your eye as well just to make sure that's vertical and we'll mark a, a pencil mark like, try and mark an X if you can. X marks the spot. So that's where that screw would go there. So then what we'll do is we'll grab the B string here, the B string machine head, and we'll make sure that's vertical as well. And just sort of use your ruler there, lining it up to the headstock. Down the middle, that looks really good. And then do the same, mark an X where that screw hole, screw hole goes. Sorry, where the screw goes. Now if you take that out, and take that out, and the other four, you'll see you've got two marks there. I don't know if they show up. But all you need to do is grab your ruler, the steel rule preferably, to the middle of those X's, and draw a very faint line through them both. Now you can't see that on camera, but it's very fine. But that's going to be enough to place all the other machine heads. So what you do, get the first one back, centre it over that mark, put the second one in. Now you want to make sure it's over that line. So you need a good, good lighting and good eyesight here. And there you go. And just make sure to your eye that looks vertical as well. So I can see the line passing right through the middle of the hole. So I'll mark a little X there. And make sure you use different ones for each one because some of these might have um, been knocked or come out of the factory a little bit different. So again with the third one, the D string, make sure it's centred over that line, the very faint pencil line, then mark an X. And the G string. Now make sure they're all fitting tightly when you put these on. And there you go. So 
now when you take those off, you've got your one, two, three, four, five, six marks. Now all you need to do is drill. So now what we need to do is we now need to drill through those uh, screw holes at the back of the machine heads into the headstock of the guitar and then screw the headstock up through, then screw the um, machine head in place. So we've still got our very faint uh, pencil line there to guide us. So well, let's get the drill. And we'll notice we've got uh, six screws and we'll just check that against our drill bit. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just check that length of that screw. So again, it's probably just before that tape there we need to come in. So lining up against the hole, so you should be able to see the pencil X mark through the hole of the machine head. And we need to just drill in very lightly to the tape. And we'll do one at a time. And there you go, that's all screwed in nice and tight. So that's our heaviest string, that's our bottom E string. And if you can see that, that looks pretty vertical. And it's moving nice and loosely. Feels good. Alright, so we just need to repeat that with the other five. So, there's our six machine heads roughly in place. They're still a bit loose, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll grab some pliers and these sleeves have a hexagonal uh, front on them so we can actually um, grab the pliers and tighten those sleeves into the backing and we'll do that now and there you go there's our six machine heads in place and we've lined those up and they look pretty good so make sure they're vertical if not you can uh, play around with those you can move them around a little bit before you actually screw them very tight um, just again all I did was had with some pliers, I grabbed the uh, sleeve which has a hexagonal nut there. If you've got a spanner um, that fits that, then by all means use a spanner, probably be easier. But the pliers fit nicely over there, and you just twist that around until it's tight. And just give those a check, make sure, yep, they're all good. And test all the machine heads. And there you go, that's your headstock set up completely. Now we can put the neck on.